Many people love playing tennis, but have you ever thought about playing it high up in the sky? Dubai, known for its tall buildings and amazing architecture, is taking tennis to new heights. While the French Open just finished, we're about to show you something wild. One of the most incredible tennis courts in the world, right here in Dubai. And it's going to be very interesting. The United Arab Emirates, known for its jaw-dropping architecture and futuristic marvels, is home to the iconic Burj Al Arab Hotel. Standing tall at 321 meters, it's already an architectural wonder in itself. But it's what's perched on top of this magnificent structure that truly takes the game to a whole new level. The Burj Al Arab, often referred to as the only seven-star hotel globally, boasts a circular tennis court that hangs a staggering 1,000 feet above the glistening Arabian Gulf. Yes, you heard that right, a tennis court suspended in the sky. And the best part? It also doubles as a helipad. Now let's take a trip down memory lane. Picture this. It's February 22, 2005, and two tennis legends, Andre Agassi and Roger Federer, find themselves on the edge of the world, on top of the Burj Al Arab's helipad tennis court. Why, you ask? Well, they were gearing up for the Dubai Duty Free Men's Open, a high-stakes $1 million competition. And this wasn't your ordinary tennis court. Imagine the thrill. The world's most unusual tennis court had these tennis titans locked in a friendly hit session. But there were no actual seats. That's right. This court doesn't cater to your standard tennis match spectators. It's a showdown in the clouds with no protective barriers. Now let's talk about the Burj Al Arab itself. This 321 meter tall man-made island hotel is the epitome of opulence. Its grandeur is unparalleled and it stands as a testament to human engineering and luxury. But how did a tennis court end up hanging on top of this magnificent structure? The story of this tennis court is as unique as the court itself. What was once a helicopter runway, perched more than 200 meters high above the sea, was transformed into a tennis court for a competition in Dubai back in 2005. Now, it might be unique, but it's not exactly your typical tennis court. You see, there are no seats for spectators, so you won't find a cheering crowd here. And safety barriers? Forget about it. When Roger Federer and Andre Agassi stepped onto this court, they had to make sure their powerful serves and volleys didn't send tennis balls plummeting into the ocean below. It was a high-stakes game of precision and concentration, what makes this project truly unique is the perfect marriage of architectural brilliance and the world of sports. When we talk about sports, we often imagine stadiums and arenas, not a tennis court suspended in the sky. This fusion of luxury architecture and elite sports created something that transcends both worlds. Just picture it. Federer, one of the greatest players of all time, and Agassi, a true tennis icon going head-to-head -head on a court that feels like it's suspended between heaven and earth. The backdrop of the Arabian Gulf and the Dubai skyline made this match a true spectacle and a once-in-a-lifetime experience for the players and anyone lucky enough to witness it. And let's not forget the sheer spectacle of it all. Picture yourself playing a tennis match on top of the world, with the Arabian Gulf below and the skyline of Dubai in the distance. It's an experience that goes beyond tennis. It's a visual feast for the senses. The tennis project at Burj Al Arab is a remarkable source of inspiration for architects, engineers, and sports fans. It encourages us to think creatively, dream big, and strive for the impossible. This incredible mile-high tennis court is a blend of luxury and bold engineering, where tennis legends play on the edge of the world. It's where sports and architecture come together to create something truly extraordinary, showing that innovation has no limits. This project reminds us that we should push the boundaries of our imagination and pursue excellence in everything we do. It serves as a symbol of human achievement and the limitless possibilities when we combine our passions and skills. The Burj Al Arab's mile-high tennis court is not just a sporting venue, 
it's a testament to the power of human innovation and collaboration, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars. And hey, if you ever get the chance to play tennis in the clouds, remember to keep the ball between the lines. Do you know any interesting and unusual things about how people live in Dubai? Share them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you.